Good morning, it's 6 a.m. and I decided I'm gonna go edit some of the gaming highlights, some of the stream highlights for my YouTube. So it is 7.20, basically finished with a rough edit. I mean, overall, I think it's gonna take me like another hour. It is actually very interesting to see how I played the game and seeing it through a different perspective. It's, it's really, really cool. Okay, well, that's it, I guess. He said he's gonna be here in like 15 minutes, so it's been 15 minutes. Good morning, Chris. Hi, vlog. We're gonna stream and do some Volt deliveries. If you don't know what the Volt is, through an app you order practically anything you want, primarily food, but you can order anything. Groceries. Groceries, the detergent for you your mean, washing your clothes and stuff. I don't know, uh, is this uh, safe for work? Huh? Yeah, no. No. You can also order it from a sex store. I don't know that sex store sex store is like safe for work kind of thing or not safe for work. It's just toys. Well, well yeah, but yeah. It's just regular toys, right? You can play with yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, now uh, this is how it looks. You basically wait for your phone. Till, uh, it tells you that you got an order. You 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 log in and then you wait. Hello, chat. Chat in the vlog. Chat in the vlog. Chris got us coffee. Actually, Maya here redeemed that we had to get coffee. I don't drink coffee. This will be my probably first time drinking something that's not flavored and sweetened to hell. <laughs> I can taste it. <laughs> offer him this so he can have a bite and then coffee over it so it would be sweet. He refuses. It's, it is already sweet, but like I can taste the coffee, like actual coffee. Yeah, it's actual coffee. Okay, because I taste milk more than coffee, it's a bit better. <laughs> I don't like that I'm getting used to this. Like I'm getting used to the taste and I don't I don't know if I like that. Why? You think you're gonna get coffee addic addiction? It's not it's not it's not that bad. It's actually okay. It's very milky. It's a cafe latte. So coffee and milk. I can drink that. It's okay. Where's my sweets? You, you also cut me a lot from the last vlog. Huh? Well you didn't cut me, you didn't even have film of me. <laughs> like yeah, true. <laughs> when? Well, you didn't have it, like you were vlogging, but you were not vlogging these adventures. You, know? you were making vlogging oh. secrets. You were vlogging everything else but these the adventures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, true, 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 true. Well, I, you know, I don't know if you, if you are okay with it. Some people are weird. When you put camera in their face, they get weird, so... You know. in what sense? Like, oh, what am I supposed to do now? What do, what should I do? What what do I have to do? What do you want me to do? I'm like, nothing, just be normal. No, 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 but like, how, how do I look? Do I look okay? Do I look good? What do I do? Yeah. I told my gnie. Mm. What the fuck is gnie? Oh, no. I'm sorry, second day. Okay, that's not good. Are you filming me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm trying to... Making... That's what I'm talking about. Camera in your face and you get weird. You're like, what are you doing? Are you filming? Why are you filming? Why is camera in my face? What should I do? I was making a joke. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't mix it. You have to mix it? Yeah, you have to mix it. Why? Because if you don't mix it, then, then you have coffee. Turn it upside down. If, see, that's what I didn't want to do. Oh, because there are two holes. Here is a second hole. I should have no better. Oh, is that a third hole? No, oh, that's just me. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> wait. How many? <laughs> 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 
And we have this thing called Vault Market where you can basically just order practically anything. That's the groceries part, you know. Check in online, you see what uh, groceries you can get and then you just practically get anything you want from this Vault Market. It's pretty cool. I got you, I got you. Okay, we're ending this uh, stream. We're gonna raid. That's like the last obligation that we have. Where are we going? Bussy. We're going to Basilisk. Chris, hi, how are you doing? Wait, wait, there's a raid? Hi, hi, oh guys, how are you doing? Over that tune. Prepare for yeah. battle. Last week. Wait, hi, Salah. Oh, hi, I'll go in. Hi, hi Chris. Okay, I have like 45 minutes before a stream, so I'm gonna go grab myself some food. I got Burek. It's been 84 years. Mm. I'm ready to go on the toilet straight after. I finished this burek. I really enjoyed today's deliveries. It was fun. It's still really, really hot, like outside and all that. I wanted to show you a little bit of a glimpse how it is when you are delivering food for a Volt. I find the job very interesting. It is very dynamic. But then, you know, sometimes the waiting part is really tough. You don't get orders for, let's say, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and you're basically just waiting on the spot. It can be really discouraging. And I can just give props to, to Chris. I'm gonna finish my burek and then I have a stream. So I'll see you later. Mm. We are in our basement and we have to clean it out so that we can then start working on light renovations. Hopefully one day we will have our music studio in here. Let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to send here. The idea is that this place this by the window would be computer uh, monitor you know like a big desk big long desk monitors and also this window would stay the only thing that we would change is that it wouldn't actually be a window it would be well I mean it could be a window we have to like figure out all audio isolation and then behind would be like a big area where you know you can record uh, stream studio, um, all the audio equipment, all the setup, and then on the other side, <laughs> right over here, would be a vocal booth, you know, to, to record vocals. Everything in this room would have to be sound isolated. If you uh, notice the difference, this room has really already good sound isolation. There is not a lot of acoustics, not a lot of echo. Whereas this other place here, Right? This one has a really echoey acoustic, so this one will have to be sound treated much more. Ta-da! Nice big set, very normal set actually, of drums. Luca used to play them in elementary. If we had to get everything set up, we could have some drumming streams as well. Or at least we could get some drumming, actual drums in the recordings and not everything from the computer. So, pretty cool, right? Maybe I said this whole thing to lightheartedly, it's not gonna be that easy. I mean, the, the, the walls look incredible. I mean, they look as, I mean, look, as, as new, you know, really good. Uh, the problem is flooring. Um, we will probably have to put carpets and all that, but I'm thinking we should also put something else before we put carpets. Apart from cleaning it all from, you know, like really, really well cleaning it. I think we have to put something over it. I don't know, maybe some epoxy or something, some kind of mass that will uh, make it a little bit nicer. And then we put other stuff over that, which is going to help with maintenance as well. I'm gonna say that this is one project that in my opinion promises a lot. And it makes me very, very excited in hopes that we actually make it happen and that we end up having some kind of a music studio out, down here. One day, one day, it's a dream, but I hope that we make this weekend uh, some progress and that we are one step closer to that dream being an actual reality. And I'm excited to take you on this journey as well. And uh, here I am with another voiceover. Me and Luca basically are just moving stuff around the basement to get it ready for our mom to come in and decide what she wants to keep and what she wants to throw away. Uh, bikes, tires, and this bed we're keeping. Everything else practically has to go out. Hey, we're like making some good progress. We're emptying the place out. One thing that I didn't tell you the other day is that this place doesn't have electricity. So we're using a ring light on a power bank. I mean, you saw that, but 
that doesn't have electricity, so we'll have to bring electricity down from the apartment somehow. Or something. Let me show you a bit of the progress now. Okay, this place is now, I mean, this side is all empty. This side is what our mom has to come check out and decide what she wants to throw away. I mean, there's very little of hers. There is a lot of Christmas stuff that we have that we store here and there's some of the equipment from like uh, GPUs, computer parts and my Twitch partner stuff. But there are some camping uh, things that she has to sort through and then throw things away that she that she doesn't need or uh, keep those that she wants and then take to her garage. You can see better. Luca, what do you think? About what? Like the whole place. I was, sell I was telling them the other day how um, how big it is actually like just how big it, it is how big it is like just you know if you're like this side like just imagine that you have table till here and that's like a big ass table yeah and you still have like a whole ass room yeah. behind you of course I was thinking just about and, and it's nice that the, the doors are here like here situated that this place can be like a couch or yeah know, like a hang or, like yeah sitting area area and this um hole inside can be nice shelves for equipment and stuff you know mm -hmm. it's i mean if we leave it for the beginning as it is so we don't have to like i don't know remove the walls remove the doors you know stuff like that yeah, yeah, yeah. so just for the beginning that's just like uh, uh, it's a nice layout yeah to i told them that actually um walls and ceilings look decent you know like they're freshly painted ish yeah. and they're in decent condition but they're not isolated the flooring is kind of a flooring problematic I think but i mean it, it the, the flooring has to be just like leveled yeah i said i said we would like clean it right yeah. but then maybe just put something over it so that it covers it yeah. like i don't know like some sign of a epoxy or yeah some, yeah some kind I, of I thought just some concrete yeah, thingy yeah, mass just yeah. to, to fill and to uh, fill level it up and then I thought about uh, rubber and then cushion. So rubber, like carpet. So rubber. Yeah. No, ca no not carpet. Like rubber. Yeah. Like uh, gym rubber. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, everywhere and then on that I don't know. Um, yeah, carpet. Yeah, carpet. Carpet. <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> what is it? The carpet. We have this from before, but I feel like um, I think we will donate this to like a shelter or something. Um, it's a it's big, so it can be. I don't know. We'll see. If I didn't tell you, this whole thing, this whole uh, place, all around it, will be curtain, black curtain, black thick curtain. Why black? Because of the yeah. light. You know, when you have black, you can create yeah. light. If you have it white or colored, you lose other color. Isn't that so? I think. I don't know. I just think when you have it... I was thinking dark blue. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, dark blue. Dark blue, fine. Or good. it can be black, but on the light it can shine blue or, so, or something like that. Sparkles. Yeah. Not sparkles, but like just Glitter. kind of like satin okay. type okay. of... Okay, okay. Some kind of reflection. reflection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no way. Okay, sure. Yeah, dark blue, black, so it's like dark gray. Cozy, you know. All things that we don't need anymore and are ready to be thrown away, we took to the uh, sorting center. Everything we will still use, we took to our mom's garage. And that was it. Hello. Chilling for a little bit. Regarding basement, I think basically everything is like done. We have to go through our stuff, things that we're gonna keep. Luca, how's the basement? It MPR. looks promising, I would say it looks promising. It looks like we can actually become a great space to, to work and to hang out. Now we just have to clean it. Of course, clean and then brush everything, as we said before. And of course, electricity and heating and stuff, that has to be done. Luca says it depends on the funding. It looks so much nicer now, cleaner. We can now start painting the picture of how we want to have this place to, to look like. And what is Jean doing now? So basically, my favorite drink is ginger beer. And I decided that it is time that I try to make my own. Here, as you can see, I'm cutting a piece of fabric because I didn't have anything to put over the glass later on. You will see. Let's start making this ginger bug. Thing is, you have to make ginger bug to activate the 
probiotics or whatever else, yeast, whatever else is in ginger. It's super simple. I can't stress enough. It is super simple. You get a small jar, you get bio, organic, whatever ginger, and you basically just grate it. You don't have to peel it. You leave the peel on, you simply grate it. You need one tablespoon of ginger to start with, and then to that you add one tablespoon of sugar, regular sugar. That's it. Mix it, and then you add about two to three deciliters of water. You stir it, you keep it like it is for five days, but every single day you have to feed it. You feed it one tablespoon of ginger, freshly grated, and one tablespoon of sugar. That's it. This is my first ginger bug for our first ginger beer that we will be making uh, throughout this next week. I will be filming the process. Every day I have to feed this with a tablespoon of ginger, freshly grated ginger, and a tablespoon of sugar. And then once this whole thing does its own thing, right? Basically growing the, the yeast, the cultures and all that, we will be making the ginger beer. I hope you enjoyed this little short tutorial and I'll keep you posted. So here we are the morning after, woke up and started grating. Basically, as the recipe says, you have to feed it every day. One tablespoon of ginger, one tablespoon of sugar, mix it and that's it. You have to vigorously mix it, they say. So I did, and that was my Monday morning, one day of feeding our ginger bug. It doesn't have much of a smell, also I can't really smell much, anyway. It had something interesting come out at first. As it is Monday, I'm just about to edit this vlog, and I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.